Hey, what is going on guys? So today I want to discuss something that I've seen floating around the vegan community for many years, including since I went vegan, which is that the term or the word vegan has so many negative connotations and vegans might as well do away with the term and replace it with something else to trigger people less in their advocacy. I was inspired to do this video after seeing a video from Mark Lewis, who claims he is going from the label vegan to fussy. Given what he said at the end of his video about wanting to buy chickens for their eggs or being open to eating elk with Joe Rogan, it's clear he doesn't possess the vegan moral philosophy anyway. And in case anybody wants to suggest, no, you are a vegan, you just are, no, I'm not. I've decided that one day I will live in the countryside and there I will consider purchasing some chickens to live happy lives in my garden and I'll eat their eggs. Also, should I find myself invited on the Joe Rogan podcast and offered some elk steak I'd find it hard to say no. I'm not entirely sure what it would do to my digestive system after this long, but I'll take that gamble. I do want to discuss the idea that actual ethical vegans would be better off dropping the whole vegan term anyway. Now, first off, I've never seen any real world data on the way in which people respond to the word vegan over alternative words when facing vegan advocacy. If only we had a randomized trial where multiple groups went through some amount of time of vegan advocacy and all but one group was introduced to the idea of veganism with words other than the word vegan or veganism for example, sentientism and sentientist, then we could assess the palatability of the message or degree to which people agree to switch to the vegan lifestyle, depending on the word used to describe it. Since as far as I know, we don't have any kind of research like this or anything close to it, we're gonna pull a carnivore today and rely on our personal experiences. And feel free to share your personal experience or journey with the word vegan in the comments. From my personal experience, and I'm sure many of you could agree, when somebody hears that you're opposed to the commodification and use of animals, and you represent present this part of you by saying you're vegan, close to 99% of the brain cells inside of the person you're talking to can immediately turn off. This is scientifically proven. As I always say on this channel, personal experience and unverified anecdotes are a very weak form of evidence. And therefore, I won't be using the ones we talk about today to form a firm belief in whether or not we should drop the vegan label, especially because when it comes to my personal experiences, they can run in both directions, both in favor and not in favor of using the vegan label. When I used to do vegan outreach way more often, I was often told by people after a conversation with me that their conversation with me changed their general view about vegans. Prior to our conversation, the people I would speak to who would say this would tell me they had a very negative view about vegans. These views were things like, oh, they're incredibly angry, very militant, and also malnourished and weak or whatever. While I'm not totally sure what contributes to this view, I intuit that it has something to do with the viral vegan content, probably in the form of disruptive protests, articles about vegans looking malnourished, and just those videos you've seen where vegans are just yelling at somebody. And just a side note, I also sense that this kind of content is spread by non-vegans, not only because it is super controversial, but, and here's my baseless mass psychoanalysis, I feel as though non-vegans are typically motivated to feel justified in their decision to not be vegan. And so sharing footage that makes vegans look bad and commenting on it saying things like, quote, wow, look at these crazy vegans, could help reinforce that their decision to not be vegan is totally reasonable. Anyway, after my conversations with people, I would often hear things like, oh, damn, you're making pretty reasonable points, or you're being very calm right now. That's a big one, like you're just being very chill and calm. Or, you know, oh, I thought all vegans were hyper feminine or really skinny or malnourished or whatever. It's cool to see that vegans can be fit as well. So it's clear that I don't have any robust data on whether the vegan label generates more negative reactions than positive or neutral reactions compared to other other words used to describe the vegan lifestyle. But when I look at my personal experiences, it's clear that it can go both ways depending on who the vegan is using the vegan label and who is hearing it. And even if it were the case that the vegan label typically causes more negative reactions than positive reactions, I think a case could still be made that vegans using the label while looking good can do some good and that it could help offset some of the constant negative publicity that the vegan movement faces all the time. A great example of this, I think we've all seen as vegan athletes and bodybuilders using the vegan label and breaking the stereotype stereotype that all vegans are skinny and malnourished. And I'm not sure how we could go about figuring this out, but I wish there was a way to find out that people who have either rejected or fully accepted the vegan philosophy would have had a higher or lower chance of adopting the vegan philosophy had they been introduced to the vegan philosophy with a different word. When I try to answer this question for myself, it's hard to think that I would be more likely to have gone vegan if the entire concept of veganism was introduced to me without the word vegan and some other word instead. For me, and I hope most people, the actual contents of what I'm being told, like what the words mean that I'm being told, is what has the power to compel me to make certain lifestyle changes like going vegan. I could be wrong and, you know, maybe just hearing a certain noise or word can be very offsetting for certain people or even most people. I don't know. But yeah, I feel as though, and yeah, here comes my feelings though. If 
somebody is going to make the lifestyle switch to veganism because the word vegan triggers them, they probably have no genuine interest in adopting this lifestyle to begin with. It's hard to imagine somebody who genuinely possesses a mind that prefers to prevent animal rights violations, who is less likely to commit to a lifestyle committed to preventing animal rights violations because the word used to describe such a lifestyle was icky in their view. Presumably, not supporting a horrific industry like animal agriculture and, you know, animal testing, animal usage for clothing, circuses, etc., would be more important than how offended you felt when you heard the word vegan as a label for the lifestyle like someone's trying to convince you to adopt. Besides, if we drop the vegan label, we're just going to replace it with another label. And who's to say that label wouldn't face the same, if not worse, issues than the vegan label today? Whoever identifies as whatever it would mean to object to the commodity status of animals would just use whatever alternative to the vegan label there would be and a new movement under this alternative word would grow as the vegan movement has today. It seems like every negative stereotype associated with the vegans would just be transferred to this new you know, alternative label. Some people think plant-based is less triggering for people, and it might be, but I've seen similar hate for people being plant-based from anti-vegans, so I'm not sure how much of a difference this would make. There's also too many uses for what the word plant-based means nowadays, so I feel it's a bit too late to adopt this term as representative of what veganism is. The word usage plant-based is a bit weird as well because there's aspects of veganism that have nothing to do with being plant-based, you know, like opposing circuses and animal testing. If for whatever reason I had a gun to my head and was forced to press a button that would undo the word vegan and veganism ever coming into existence and replace the words with something else, I'd probably go with sentientist and sentientism, as I think the word captures the general views veganism seeks to uphold the most, especially more than a label like plant-based. But at this point in the real world, it seems like the vegan label isn't going anywhere, and I see a lot of value in breaking negative stereotypes associated with vegans to help people realize that, you know, vegans can be down-to-earth, chill, etc. And not that I think it's impossible for somebody to follow the vegan moral philosophy without wanting to be called a vegan, but when I've seen people say things like, oh, like, I'm gonna do everything that vegans do, but I don't want to be labeled a vegan because the vegan community is so toxic or I just don't like the label or whatever. I've more often than not seen these people end up doing things like what ex-vegans do, which is start consuming animal products again. I'm actually curious, is there anybody that subscribed to my content or subscribed to vegan content watching this video right now who does everything that vegans are supposed to do based on the vegan moral philosophy, but don't actually label themselves as a vegan? If you're one of these people, please let me know and why you do this. Just curious. And please make sure to specify if you've once identified as a vegan, but no longer do, but still commit to the lifestyle, or you've never actually identified as a vegan, but still nonetheless have committed to the lifestyle for a long time or whatever. I wanna end this video with discussing just briefly situations where I feel that not having the vegan label could be of value. Sometimes at restaurants, saying you have an allergy will be taken more seriously than saying you are a vegan, especially if you're at a more fast food restaurant where they just don't take these things as seriously as say like more higher up restaurants. Also, if you're aware that there's going to be somebody at some family or social gathering that you know doesn't know you're vegan, but you're given a reason to believe that the entirety of their brain turns off when they find out that somebody is vegan. And you personally at the time just don't feel like dealing with the stress of being around that kind of person when they find out you're vegan. I think saying you have allergies or something rather than saying you're vegan could be of some short-term psychological benefit. I've done this, I believe once, but generally I don't because I welcome conversations from anti-vegans and it helps give me some material for future satirical videos I make about anti-vegans. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. This is one of my videos where because there's not a lot of data on the topic, I would appreciate people just giving their input in the comments, letting me know what you think about what I've said, your experiences on this whole topic, etc. Thank you so much for watching. If you support my work and want to get early access to it, you can click the link in the pinned comment and support me on Patreon. And if you don't know, I do have a book going over most, if not all of the anti-vegan arguments you're going to hear online. If you want to get that as well, that'll be linked in the pinned comment. Lastly, there are two links below for vegan protein powder and vegan merch, both of which, if you purchase, will help support the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Dude, fuck off. I don't want anything to do with you. Don't ever speak me again. You're a fucking piece of shit. Even vegans don't get your weird, stupid, wannabe sense of irony here. Who is your audience? Nobody gets these dumb jokes. Dude, 